The News for Jack's I team has new details tonight about the former Jaguars employee who stole $22 million from the organization. This was Amit Patel leaving money? the federal courthouse yesterday after pleading guilty to felony charges of wire uh, fraud and making an and illegal financial gambling. transaction. For it? years, he embezzled the money through the Jags' virtual credit card program over which he had sole administrative control. News for Jack's investigator Ann Maxwell has the new details tonight about Patel's plea agreement. Former Jaguars financial planning and analysis manager Amit Patel is facing 30 years in prison after pleading guilty to ripping off the company. In federal court Thursday, he admitted to making hundreds of fraudulent transactions using his employer's virtual credit card program, spending more than $22 million on gambling, jet rides, luxury vacations, a country club membership, cryptocurrency, watches, and more. He also admitted to forging the fraudulent expenses in excess Excel spreadsheets he submitted to the accounting department every month from fall of 2019 to February of 2023. After Patel's court document became public, we turned to University of North Florida Business School professors Mark Dawkins and Leah Muriel for analysis on how these missing millions could have been overlooked. What is your impression reading over this indictment? There were a couple things that stood out to me. Of course, there's certainly a lot more information than whatever is put in this document, but um, just seeing that this person, Mr. Patel, uh, had such authority and could, um, you know, create the documentation. It seemed like he was approving everything, but there wasn't much monitoring that I could tell from, from this document. It said he was like the sole approver um, of these credit card expenses. Professor Dawkins said someone should have been checking for receipts. They should have had oversight for the expenses. The plea agreement reveals in November of last year, Patel made $5.6 million worth of fraudulent transactions. And because it nearly exceeded the credit limit, he just got the bank to increase it to $7.25 million. According to Patel's attorney, his client gambled away most of the money. He said Patel has a serious gambling addiction for which he's been in treatment, and he apologizes for his conduct. Two sources told News for Jax the Jags weren't aware of the missing money until online gambling company FanDuel reached out. I kind of wonder, maybe they're just bringing in and spending so much money on this big enterprise. Is it conceivable they just, nobody would notice $22 million is missing? We do normally look at materiality and and we would say for you and me yes 22 million dollars is material again I, i'm not sure how much the jaguars operation spends on an annual basis and so i can't really say whether 22 million dollars is material to the jaguars I, I would assume it is and maxwell channel 4 the local station Patel has agreed to pay back the $22 million. He's currently out on bond. Sentencing will come at a later date. A spokesperson for the JAG says no other employees were found to have been involved in the criminal activity. And external experts have helped the team extensively review their policies and procedures. They say they've added staff to their finance department and have taken other measures to ensure the integrity of their financial controls.